Hi everyone, this is the Billiards Doctor and for today's video I want to tell you about the accessories that I've bought and the ones I think are worth the money and the ones that aren't worth the money. So first let's talk about pool gloves. So I have six pool gloves here. Uh, Molinari are my personal favorite. Here's Molinari. Um, they feel like just like a second skin. They feel so tight. They're awesome. They're my personal favorite. I also have the Kamui pool gloves here. Kamui is really nice. It's a little bit thicker material than Molinari. So you can kind of feel it's a little bit thicker. You kind of sweat a little bit more. But the nice thing about Kamui is that they have different sizes. So you, you can get small, medium, and large. Whereas the Molinari gloves are all one size fits all. But uh, my personal favorite are the Molinari gloves. Um, but I also have the Mez glove here. This is the Mez glove. And this is nice. It has an open palm, which is very unique because most gloves don't have that. But um, it's kind of interesting to have that because like if it gets really hot out or if it's really hot in the pool hall, then it's nice to have like an open palm and to be able to air out a little bit more. Um, so I like all these gloves, but Molinari is probably my favorite. All these gloves are about $25 to $30. The Cyclops cue ball is the next one I want to talk about. So this is the Cyclops cue ball. It has one dot. This is really nice. Um, there's also the Measles Aramith cue ball here. I like to keep both in my bag because if I'm practicing drills, if I'm practicing straight shots and I do like 100 straight shots, it's just faster to like have two cue balls. Plus I want to kind of try them out. So I just carry both of them around. You don't really need two. But the Aramith Measles is my personal favorite. Um, the Aramith Measles is about $30. And this one is about, I would say like $22 or so. Um, they're both really high quality. Um, and it's just nice to have like one good cue ball in your bag. Um, next, let's talk about the Unilock Weight Bowl Kit. So I actually have a separate video that just talks about this kit. But I'll just really briefly talk about it. It's for Predator Unilock shafts, uh, cues. So it can allow you to adjust the weight of your cue to 0.1 ounces. I really like it because I'm like kind of picky about the weight of my cue and the balance point and all that stuff. So I like, my, my cue is 20.3 ounces um, and I like to adjust the, to be able to feel like what I feel is the perfect balance for me, which is the perfect weight. But like I said, that's kind of a personal preference. I know people who like don't mind kind of getting used to a heavier or lighter cue and so on and so forth. But this is really nice. This is a little bit expensive. This is, I think like $65 or so which is, it's kind of ridiculous, but unfortunately it's like Predator kind of has a monopoly on it. So if you want to change the way your cue, you kind of have to get this. Um, but I, I really like it. I, I think for me, this was like worth the money, but I also have a Predator break cue. So I'm able to change the weights on both my break cue and my plank cue with this same weight bulk kit. So next I want to talk about the balance right. The balance right is something that I really don't like and I don't use this anymore. I tried it out for like a couple weeks and I really didn't like it. Uh, first of all, it has some manufacturing defects, which are that like, if you put this in your cue, so if you buy a nice cue, like it will be, it will be straight. The butt and the shaft of the cue will be perfectly straight. And if you roll it on the table, you will see that the tip of the cue will stay flat. So it's kind of a test that you can do sometimes. You can take the cue and you can roll it on a table. And if the tip bounces up and down, it means the cue's warped. Right? So when you do, when you put this on your cue, so this goes in between the butt and the shaft. So the shaft would go on this side and the butt would go on this side. And it basically like what happens is like when you roll your cue on the table now, the tip of the cue goes up and down, which is like meaning that the cue is not straight anymore. And that's really annoying because like, you know, if you buy a nice cue, you want it to be straight. And then this thing, because it's not perfectly flush, these sides are not perfectly flat, you kind of get defects. Um, but if you do decide to get balance right, I, re I recommend ordering like three of them and then returning two of them because like some of them are better than others. So I actually ended up getting three of them and returning two of them because the other two were much worse um, at being flushed to the cue. So what balance right does is it shifts the balance point forward. So it goes in between the shaft and the, the butt of the cue and it shifts the balance point forward, making it like kind of like a heavier acting cue. So I have a video that talks about cue weights and like the difference between a light and a heavy cue. But this moves balance point forward. I did not like this at all because it gave me more squirt and swerve. It just felt weird. I didn't like it personally. So that's why I use the Q extensions. This is the Predator QR2 extension here. This is really nice. It goes on the butt of your Predator Q and it's uh, about three ounces and it's eight inches long. So it gives you that nice extension, which is really nice if you use it like temporary for like a long shot. But I personally like to keep this on my Q at all times. Um, because I'm just I'm taller and it helps me be more comfortable with my shot having a longer having a longer cue um, Next I want to talk about the cue claw. So the cue claw here. I, I like this. This is definitely so it's hold on one second The balance right sorry is about I think it's about $50 and the QR2 extension is I think about $75 um, So the bound the, the cue claw here is only about $12 really inexpensive 
I really like this because what you do is you put it on the edge of a table. So this is a table here. You put on the edge of the table like that, and then you just take the shaft of your cue, and it basically just, it goes like this. So you can see it like that. It just goes like that. So as you can see, like you lean your cue against the table, but now you have this thing holding it, which is really nice because like, now your cue doesn't fall over. You know, someone could knock it over, or some kids are running around or something and they hit it over and it's like, oh, now your really expensive cue fell to the ground and may get scratched or dented, which is pretty annoying. So I really like that cue claw. And it's really nice because it's actually, it's decently heavy. So it doesn't really fall over or get tipped over really easily. And uh, I can hold two, two cues. Um, and they have different sizes of this. I like the two cue holder because I, it fits in my bag. I think if you get larger than that, you really have to have a big bag for it to fit. Okay, let's talk about tip tools. So this is the Willard's Dime Shaper Tip Tool. So this is the Willard's Dime Shaper Tip Tool. I really like this, this is my personal favorite. Um, this is able to not only shape your tool, your, your tip to a dime, you also have this little kind of, um, this like little opening here, which lets you basically take the shaft of your cue, like here, and you can see if your dime radius, you can see that's dime radius, it's perfectly aligned. And if it's flatter than that, you'll be able to know when you need to shape it. Because if it's flatter than that, you'll see that it won't fit. And um, that's, I really like that because um, that just like tells me when my chip, when my tip, my tip needs to be reshaped. And it also tells me like when I'm finished reshaping it. So I don't wanna, I don't wanna have to replace my tip too much. I don't wanna have to shape it <coughs> if I don't need to. So I really like this tool. This is my personal favorite. I also have the Q-Tech bow tie tip tool, which I have a video that talks about all these tip tools, by the way. Um, and the, the Q-Tech bow tie tip tool has a shape end, a scuff end, and also a porcupine end here. So this is this is pretty nice to have. I use this mostly for the, the porcupine part here, the porcupine part here to like, basically it aerates the, sh the tip of your cue, allows it to hold more chalk. If your tip gets too hard, you need to hold more chalk because chalk doesn't hold as well when the tip is really hard. But I use the Willard's Dime Shaper to actually shape the tip to a dime radius. Next we have the moose head. The moose head is really nice because um, it basically just fits on any cue shaft and it turns that cue into a bridge. So you, you know, I put this on my break cue usually and I turn it into a bridge and then I can use my playing cue as like my regular cue for the bridge shot. It's really nice because you can adjust um, whether you go like, you wanna go through this hole for backspin if you wanna have lower or if you're to bridge over a ball, you can go like this and bridge over a ball with the cue being up here. So this is just really nice. It's only about $3, so I think this is definitely worth the investment. And if you go to a pool and they don't have a bridge, like it's nice to just have a bridge available. Um, let's see, what else do I have? I have um, my chalk. So here's the Masters chalk. Um, Masters is nice. The only thing I don't like about it is like when it's really hot and humid outside, uh, the Masters chalk becomes really soft. And then when you apply it, it creates a lot of like chalk dust and it wears down really fast. So that's one downside. I also like Predator chalk a lot. This is a little bit more expensive. So the Masters chalk is like, you can get like 12 cubes for $3, where as Predator chalk, I think it's like five or six cubes for like, seven dollars or eight dollars which is still pretty good like kamui is like 25 dollars for one cube of chalk but like predator gives you more than that um but i like predator because it stays the same no matter what time of year it is no matter if it's hot or cold outside which is really nice um so my personal favorite is predator but predator only comes in blue chalk which is a little annoying if you play on a table that's not blue because then you get chalk all over the table so usually like when i play at my pool hall here i use the gray chalk because they have gray felt um Next I have this little case that I just, it has a headphones case that happen to fit chalk. So I usually just put my chalk in here like this. So I think they sell cases that you can buy to hold chalk, but I like that so my chalk doesn't get all over my pool bag. I also have these um, Revo wipes that came with the Revo shaft. And it's basically to like help get like residue off the shaft and stuff like that. I haven't had any issues with it. People say that the Revo shaft gets chalk buildup. I haven't seen that, but some people have mentioned that. So I, I carry those around just in case. There's also this isopropyl alcohol. I've never actually used this, but my friend Mike, who you may have seen in the, some of the other interview videos, uses this like religiously like once a week on his cue. He uses it on the butt of his cue to make the butt of the cue smoother and really kind of give it that glossy finish. I don't like to use this because I feel like if I just keep my cue clean, I don't need it, but this is something I bought just so I could have it just in case. Um, then I have this Predator towel, which is I just kind of, it came with the case, I think, but it's just nice to just wipe off chalk. So if I have my cue here, I'll just go like this and just kind of wipe the chalk off 
the Q. You don't want to do it too much, like in a row and too strongly, because the Q will heat up and that's not good for the shaft. But you know, just do it softly, just to get some of the chalk off of your Q. I also carry a chapstick, you know, in case my lips get chapped during a match. I have a pair of earplugs. Most tournaments will not let you use headphones, but you don't mind if you use earplugs. So if it's loud or something, I'll use earplugs. I have this little tool that I got at a pool clinic, which basically, like, you practice just doing a straight shot. <coughs> if you hit it straight through the pennies, you won't hear a noise. But if you don't hit it straight, you'll hear kind of a, you'll, you'll hear a noise like that. And that tells you you're not cueing straight. So I'll use, if I'm not playing really well, I'll go to another table after the match is over and just like practice hitting the ball straight, relaxing my grip and just making sure my elbow's up and down, things like that. I also carry another towel. This is just like a regular towel you can buy at like any store basically. And I just use this like when my face gets sweaty or my hands get sweaty, I'll just use this to just like, just like get kind of some of the like sweat off. Um, Oh, lastly, there's 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 this thing. So this is for Predator chalk. Um, I bought this because it was inexpensive. It's like, hey, why don't I just try it? So basically, like, you put the chalk in here, like this, and then you can like put this in your pocket. You put this side in your pocket, so your chalk kind of hangs out of the pocket like that. And um, I don't like it. It just kind of gets in the way. Kind of gets on your pants sometimes. The chalk is on your pants, and I just I don't like it. I bought it just the heck of it, but. I don't know, it's kind of annoying. I guess you just have to carry your regular piece of chalk around the table like everyone else does, but so. Um, let's see, so I think that's everything. But yeah, so um, this is the Billiards Doctor. Thanks for watching, stay tuned for more videos.